Think back to the last video. The big idea behind SketchUp is that you draw shapes and pull them into 3D, right? So this video will focus on the ins and outs of drawing shapes. Everything you can create in SketchUp is either an edge or a surface, and usually an interesting combination of both. Edges can exist on their own, however surfaces cannot. Every surface in SketchUp has a set of bounding edges. Erase one of those edges and the surface will be gone. This is true no matter how simple or complex your surface is. However, you can easily recreate a surface by drawing in the last edge. This is referred to as healing a surface. We can easily create or heal these surfaces by drawing the final edges. We can do this on simple shapes or draw the edges needed to heal even more complex shapes. As simple as creating shapes is, there are still some guidelines you must follow to assure your success with SketchUp. So here they are, the four rules for drawing edges. The first rule you already know about. When drawing edges, you must draw a full closed loop of edges to create a surface. However, this closed loop of edges must also be coplanar. What does that mean? Well, take a look at these two examples. Drawing the edge here completes the surface. However, drawing this edge doesn't complete a surface. We can see what the problem is by orbiting. Now we can see this line drops down. It isn't in the same plane as the other edges. Any closed loop of edges must be coplanar, or all in the same plane, to create a surface. You can see in these examples that a surface can be created in any orientation, as long as all the edges remain coplanar. This is rule one for drawing edges. Rule two for drawing edges relates to rule one. To help you draw edges that are coplanar, there is this red, green, and blue axis built in SketchUp. You've probably noticed already that when drawing edges, they will snap to become aligned with an axis and become red, green, or blue in color to indicate that direction. The key to successfully using the axis directions is called inferring. For example, say we want to draw in the final two edges of this shape. Start drawing an edge, but we don't know how far to draw this edge, so it will line up perfectly with the above edge. Inferring is the ability to ask SketchUp to line it up for you. Simply hover for two seconds on the point you want to line up with, then move back to your original line and move slowly until SketchUp shows you a dotted line inferring to the point above. Now you can draw the edges with confidence that they line up perfectly. Inferring is the second rule of drawing edges. Make sure to practice and understand inferring and be patient as you do. Take your time and hover for a full two seconds over the point you are interested in. And More importantly, make sure you see the edge color and dotted inference line when creating edges. It may seem a simple thing, but it causes plenty of trouble later in your model if you aren't very careful about watching your inferences. Rule three for drawing edges should seem familiar. It deals with inference points that we've already been using. Every time we draw a point from or to the end of an edge, we see a green dot indicating it is an end point. SketchUp snaps to these points to help you draw accurately and quickly. Review the different types of inference points. Endpoints are shown with green dots. The middle of an edge is shown with a cyan dot. Anywhere else on an edge is shown with a red dot. Where two edges cross is shown by a black dot. Rule three for drawing edges is to use these inference points. Watch them closely to make sure you are drawing correctly as needed. Now that you know about rule three and inference points, rule four will be easy. When drawing shapes in SketchUp, Always draw to and from edges. Another way to put it is don't draw edges across another edge. A few examples should help to explain this. Say you wanted to draw a rectangle divided equally into four parts, like this. Most of us would follow these steps. Draw a rectangle, then draw a line from the midpoint to midpoint in one direction. So far, so good then draw another line from midpoint to midpoint in the other direction. But this doesn't work. It crosses over an edge, and in fact, if we examine the shape, it isn't properly divided. Think of the rule. We were okay up to this point, 
and instead of crossing the edge, draw from this midpoint to the midpoint of this edge. Then draw the final line from midpoint to midpoint. By following this rule to draw only from and to edges, it creates the four equal shapes we need. This is true of any drawing tool you are using. Don't cross any edge over another edge, whether it be with the rectangle, circle, arc, or any other drawing tool. So that's it, the four rules for drawing edges. Draw coplanar edges in a closed loop to create a surface. Use inferring and the red, green, and blue axis to help you draw accurately. Watch your inference points and draw from and to edges. As you become more familiar with SketchUp, you'll learn when you can bend these rules, but for starting out, follow them very closely. Now that you know some guidelines for creating shapes, move to the next video to learn about pulling those shapes into 3D.